Olá a todos. Alô. Boa tarde a todos. Digam olá a Ross Piper. Um aplauso. Uh! O Ross Piper veio do Reino Unido para estar aqui hoje convosco. Por isso é uma ocasião muito especial. Então vamos ouvi-lo com atenção. Ele é um cientista e vai falar-vos sobre um mundo extraordinário dos insetos com fotografias maravilhosas, coloridas. Um novo mundo a descobrir. E sabem que mais? Ele vai vos dizer que o mundo é gigante, nós sabemos alguma coisa acerca dele, mas há muito para descobrir. E talvez vocês possam ser os próximos cientistas. Por isso, mais uma vez, vamos a isso! Boa! Hello everybody. Um, so, as Anna kindly said, um, my name is Ross Piper, and I'm a zoologist and an entomologist. So that means I study I study animals, specifically insects. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is that we know this. Oh, sorry. This is me in front of a, a light trap in Burma, in northern Burma. This is the way that I look for insects at night time. So I use a big bright light in front of a white sheet, and this is how I attract different insects to a light. And often those insects that I find are new species. Um, but what I really want to talk about today is the fact that this is our planet here, planet Earth, and we know very, very little about planet Earth. So we know very little about how many species there are, and about how all those species live, and about how all those different species interact with one another. Um, so why is that? Why do we know so little about our own planet? We spend billions of, of dollars, billions of euros every year trying to uh, send uh, probes and other things into space to planets in our solar system. Uh, and so we know loads more about the surfaces of planets in space than we do about our own planet. And that is crazy when you think about it. Um, so I just want to ask a question. So if you know, th the first question I've got for you is, How old is planet Earth then? So if you think it's 1.6 billion years, put your hand up. Oh, you all know it. You all know it. Yeah, okay. B, 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 B. Okay, good, good, good. B. Yeah, well done. So our planet Earth is very, very old, 4.6 billion years. And in that time, life has evolved into an extraordinary variety of different forms. And which of these groups do you think evolved last? Okay, so do you think it was, if you think it was A, put your hand up. D, D, you say D, yeah, D. So it's D, plants. So plants was the last group of organisms to evolve on Earth. Uh, animals and fungi evolved a long time before them. Um, And I just want to do a quick experiment with you. Um, if you can all, can you all stand up for me? Can you all stand up? Stand up. All right. And I want you, listen, listen, listen. I want you to think of an animal, okay? So think of an animal in your head and keep it there. It can be any animal, okay? If you're thinking of a mammal, so something with fur, so it could be a, a cat, dog, a lion, tiger, an elephant, a rhinoceros, a whale, a seal, sit down. If you're thinking of a mammal, okay, good, 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 good. Good, good, right. If you're thinking of a bird, so something with feathers, sit down if you're thinking of a bird. Um, if you're thinking of maybe a, a reptile, so a snake or a lizard, anything like that, sit down. Um, and if you're thinking of, uh, so something might maybe a frog, a newt or a salamander said, okay, so that's everyone, okay. Okay, the, the, the point I wanted to make with that is when we think about animals, we automatically think about vertebrates. So all the typical animals, so things like mammals, birds, and all those big animals. We have to remember the animals are really, really diverse. All those animals you were thinking about, everyone was thinking about a vertebrate. The vertebrates are that group there in the yellow circle. In addition to the vertebrates, there are 34 
different major body plans of animal, most of which are completely unknown to most people. The ones I'm interested in are mostly insects, uh, and things like uh, spiders, scorpions, all those sorts of things. Um, and then we can also see from this figure here, can you see that most animals, most animals here are arthropods. So can you see in the blue here? These are animals like insects and crustaceans and arachnids. So most animals on Earth are those, okay? The vertebrates of which we're one type, we're a type of vertebrate, they account for just a tiny, tiny slice. Only about 4% of the total known diversity of animals. So far, we've described around 1.5 million animal species, but there's millions more out there still to describe and understand. Um, so these, the, these are the things I'm most interested in, insects, okay? So these are the big groups of insects and how many species in each group. You can see there are nearly 400,000 species of beetle out there. In Portugal alone, you've probably got maybe 10,000 species of beetle, maybe more. Um, so there's enormous diversity of these small animals everywhere. Here's another question for you then. This is quite a tricky one. So when do you think the first animal evolved? So how long ago? Do you think it was A, one million years ago? Put your hand up. No. B, ten million years ago. C. D. It's D, it's D, D, D. So it's about one billion years ago. For animals first appeared about one billion years ago, 1,000 million years ago, because so they've been around for a very long time. And this you'll have seen a minute ago. How many different types of animal groups are there? D, 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 35. Who's, who thought D? Put your hand up. Good, okay, well done, good. Uh, and this one here, about vertebrates, I just talked about this. Which is the answer for this? Who thinks A? B? Put your hand up. C? D? Yes, D. So the vertebrates, we're vertebrates, are mammals, birds, all those other things, account for only 4% of animal diversity. Okay, we also forget, we forget that the Earth is huge. It's so easy now to get on a plane and fly from one country to another, and we tend to forget how big the Earth is. So this is what you probably see in some of your books at school. You'll see, um, this is called the Mercator projection of Earth, yeah? So you're fitting uh, a globe into a two-dimensional space on a bit of paper. But it looks like here, Greenland at the top there looks to be the same size as Africa. But in actual fact, you'll see that Africa is 15 times bigger than Greenland. Africa is 30 million square kilometers. This is a huge landmass. So you think of all the places, all the habitats in which you can find animals. There are a huge number of places all around the globe where you can go to and find new species. Uh, this is one place where I've been. So this is northern Burma. So Burma in Southeast Asia is more or less unexplored. It's very difficult to get there. Uh, but if you go into the far, far north of Burma here, you'll find forests like this. So these steep-sided valleys covered in forest, and very, very few people have ever been there looking for species of animals and plants. This is up beyond the tree line, so about three and a half thousand meters up into the mountains. And these are some of the mountains there. These are enormous mountains. This is the, the tallest mountain in Southeast Asia, but only one person has ever climbed it. This is how remote and inaccessible these places are. They're very difficult to get to. Um, we also tend to forget that most animals are very small. Most animals are much smaller than us. So unless we're specifically looking for them, we simply don't notice them. So this is an animal called a fairy wasp. So you'll see how big this is, 0.8 millimeters there. Do that with your fingers. This is less than one millimeter, okay? And that's a complex animal with a brain, a gut, all the same things as you and I really, but in a very, very small space. And they get even smaller too. That one there is 0.14 millimetres. So much smaller than lots of single-celled organisms. 
These are some of those small wasps again. This is one of my photographs. So these wasps, when they're very, very small, they develop in the eggs of other insects. Can you see that there? So this is the egg of another insect inside of which a lot of these wasps develop in. Lots of animals live like this, especially insects. They live as parasitoids. Then this animal here. Does anybody know what this is? Anyone want to guess? This, this is called a tardigrade. So again, this is microscopic, so much less than one millimetre long. And these are found everywhere, okay? And they can also effectively time travel from one period of good conditions to the next. But these things are everywhere and extremely common. Now this animal here, this is a pseudoscorpion. And what we can see here if we do this, This is a special slicing machine, so you can see what it looks like inside, okay? This is done with a special type of microscope called an X-synchrotron. So you can see inside the animal, you cut it into lots and lots of layers, you can see all the muscles here, and the brain and the digestive system, all the complex organs, but in a very, this animal is only three millimeters long, so tiny, tiny, but extremely complicated. And we're also drawn to similar animals because they, they look a little bit like us, they're mammals, okay? So it's much easier to identify with the lioness and the challenges she faces nurturing her cubs on the plains of Africa than it is to form any sort of emotional link with a crustacean that spends most of its life attached to the eye of a fish. This animal here spends nearly its whole life attached to the eye of different fish species in the ocean. And there's lots of animals that live like this as parasites. Appearances can also be deceiving. So when we see an animal, often what we think of as, um, when we think of evolution, evolution is just this simple one-way process where simple forms give rise to progressively more complex forms. But there are lots of weird animals out there like this. This is another parasite that lives inside fishes, okay? And it's a type of copepod. That's what a normal copepod looks like here. But this one lives inside fish, it's become a parasite, and so it's lost all of the complexities of its ancestors. But this is the female. That's the female here, and that's the male at the very top. Okay, so he's squeezed inside this like, tiny structure inside the fish, the, uh, the host, by the enormous blob-like female. Then this thing here. Does anybody know what this is? What? Wasp. I who said wasp? Wasp. So this is actually a moth. It's actually a moth that pretends to be a wasp. And that's really, really common in insects where you have things that pretend to look like something else. Wasps have a sting, so they're dangerous, so lots of things mimic them. Um, this is me looking uh, for look animals oh, in... These are plant hopper nymphs. <laughs> they're one of the most ridiculous things. Look at them. <laughs> so these are animals, these, these are insects. Against okay. Their... Parasites and their predators, and also watch this. If I try and touch them, they start twitching their mane. As a last line of defence, they can also jump. If I really irritate this one here, oi! Again, oi! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy creatures. So that's another type of insect. Those are called plant hopper nymphs, okay? And they've got those big white... Oh, cheers. <laughs> okay, ready? Um, so when, when I go to the tropics, when I go to the tropics looking for new species, finding, finding new species can be very difficult because most things are very rare. Like this thing here, this is the thing called a mantis fly. So finding these new things can be extremely difficult because there's not many of them around, they're very rare, okay? Uh, and then this thing here, this is a thing called a jewel beetle, okay? So these are real colours, these are taken with my camera. So you see the extraordinary colours and structures on some of these things. Then this is a moth here, this is a moth from Burma. But look at the colours. This is only the second time this has ever been seen, and it was in northern Burma. Um, and then this is a... Uh, okay. 
So this is me looking for, uh, looking for tarantulas in, in Burma again. What we found here, this is brilliant, I've never seen this before. But this is a really old pile of uh, elephant dung. From one of the really big dung beetles, uh, the females of which are about this big, has made her burrow with her brood chambers below this. This burrow is probably about two feet long. So I'm trying to find a tarantula. This, Tarantulas a are spiders, big spiders. And some balls of dung, each of which And there's one in this, here, uh, in this hole. Lava. It's incredible, really. Still feel. I can still feel the burrow disappearing off down to the ground. I'm hoping there's not anything else down there. It's also spiders. I think there are things that are standing in this hole. This thing is tough. Ah! So I thought I got bitten, bitten on the finger by a tarantula that I was trying to dig out of the hole, yeah? So sometimes when you go to these places, you have to be very careful. Because a lot of some of these things can be venomous. Uh, some of these things are dangerous in other ways too. Um, and there's also, so there's not many people like me, there's not many entomologists around the world looking for new species. Uh, these are animals called nematodes, and these are everywhere. But there's very few people around the world who are actually looking at them. There's probably around a million, one million species of nematode around the world, maybe more but hardly anyone looks at them, even though they're very important ecologically. These ones, these are nematode worms, they all live inside millipedes. So millipedes, those big animals, a bit like centipedes, and they live inside them. Okay, some more questions. Who's been listening then to this? Okay, ready? Right, what's the answer to this question here? How many times bigger is Africa than Greenland? D, 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 yeah. Who said D? Put your hand up who said D. Good, good, well done, good. Um, next one. What country is this mountain in? Put your hand up, put your hand up if you said E. Yeah, good, you're right, Myanmar, Burma, yeah. And what size is this insect? Put your hand up if you said D. Yeah, good, you're right, well done, good. Good, good, good. And what type of animal is this? Put your hand up if you said A. Good, you're right, well done, good, good, good. What type of animal is this? Put your hand up if you said D. Yes, good. Right, now, listen, 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 listen. Right, I've got two copies of my book to win, yeah? I'm gonna, I want to give these away as a prize to two of you, yeah? But you have to answer, well, there's gonna be two questions, yeah? Right. First question, listen, listen, listen. Shh. Right, who knows what mountain range this is? Put your hand up if you know. Who wants to have a guess? Stand up, take mask down. Andy's. Yep, cool. Come on, come again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well done, good. <laughs> a round of applause. Right, next one. Who knows what country this is? Um, put your mask down. What country? Namibia. Yes! Round of applause for that man, well done. Come on, come on. Give him a round of applause. Well done, good man. <laughs> um, so that's more or less, that's about it from me. Does, have, does anyone have any questions? 
for me. Uh, have we got a microphone? Is there a microphone anywhere? Microphone. Is it working, yeah? Okay. Who's got a question? Yeah, far away. Can you pass it to the next person as well, yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah. You can take mask down. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Like, where, where are you from? I'm from England. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the U UK. Any other questions? Um, yeah, can I have the microphone? Hola. Cheers, thank you. Who's got a question? <laughs> Any questions? Where? Oh, down here. Yeah, go, go, go. Take that down. What's up? Where what? Your favourite colour. My favourite colour? Uh, probably blue. <laughs> Hello? Take that down. Harry Potter. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Harry Potter. Any other questions? Questions? Who wants the microphone? Take the microphone, pass it to your man over there. Mask down. What's your scientific area? So, entomology. Entomology uh. is the study of insects, okay? Okay. And that's within zoology, okay? Any other questions? Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Any other questions? Yeah, use that, take that mask down as well, yeah? How long is you studying sex? How long have I stood? Uh, since I was maybe four years old. But a university uh, when I did, so I did a zoology degree and then in entomology, so a long time, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, oh, yeah. Let's take your mask down. What's your favorite animal? My favorite animal are probably you know the ones that I showed you, the tiny, tiny wasps? Those ones, probably, because there's so many of them. And they've got such amazing lifestyles. Any other questions? Questions? What? Oh, no. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take mask down. Uh, what is your... I don't... I don't... I was like, try, try, try. Uh, what is your favorite battery? Favourite what? Favourite insect? Yes, yes. Um, so the ones I showed you there, the tiny wasps, and also beetles. Oh. Like beetles as well, yeah? Very good though, good question, good question. Any other questions? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Uh, mask. Um, were ants once upon a time so small as those animals? Yeah, there's some ants that are very, very tiny. Not quite as small, but there were some very tiny ones. Maybe a bit less than one millimetre, maybe. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Still um, today, still today, yeah, yeah. Okay, Among Us. <laughs> Thank you. Obrigado. Who else? All right. Who's asking a question? You? Go on, then. Are you famous? Am I famous? Yes. Not really. I mean, I've been on, I've been on television a yes. few times, but... You famous. <laughs> you famous. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Right, who else? Who else? Who else? Go on then. What's the favorite part of your job? What's the best part? Of your job? Uh, Travelling to different countries. Okay. Yeah. Thank and going you. to places where not many people have been before. That's okay. the best part. But the thing is, any one of you, any one of you could like be an explorer because there's still so much to explore, yeah? Who else? Anyone else? How old are you? How old am I? Uh, 22. <laughs> no, 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 no. 45. 45. I'm old, I'm old. Who's got another question? No? Any questions, questions, questions? Go ahead. Yeah. What can... Mask, mask, mask. What can we do to protect this species? Good question. That is a good question. Um, good question. Round of applause. Round of applause. Good. Um, 
So, I think what we can do is, uh, the, the simplest thing we can do is to buy less stuff, to buy less things. Because everything we buy has a price. It means that somewhere in another part of the world, habitat, like I've showed you, is being destroyed. So buy, buy fewer things, yeah? Is that on it, Is that on? Is that on? Is that on? Yeah. Wait, let me just check with the fellows. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Is it not working? Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Where do you work? Where do I work? Well, I work for myself, but I've... I have connections with a few universities, uh, and when I go to the tropics looking for new species, I take those back to the Natural History Museum in London. Okay. Yeah? Um, but yeah, any, any other questions? Um, yeah, go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Do you like snakes? I love snakes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know enough about them to be able to handle them, because that can be quite dangerous in the tropics because you need to know exactly which species it is, okay? Yeah. Have you received any awards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a few awards, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, take your mask down, yeah. What is your dream job? What I do, what I do now, I love it. Because I get to go to places, you know, remote places, and I get to look at amazing things. Yeah. What is your favorite film? <laughs> My favorite film? Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Why do you like science so much? Why do I like what? Why do you like science so much? Uh, because it's all about discovery and exploration. And it's all about finding out new things. Okay? Yeah. When you start working. Say that again? When you start to work. When did I start? Yeah. Uh, so after my university time, so when I was about 20, 24? 24 probably, yeah. If you could be an animal, which one would you be? If I could be a what? If you could be an animal, which one would you be? Uh, I'd be a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be a bird. I'd be an eagle. Okay. Yeah. How many countries have you visited? How many countries? Yeah. 35 maybe. I've lost count, I don't know, I forgot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 wait, 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 wait. What's your color favorite? My favorite color? Yeah. Blue. Blue. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where do you live? I live in England. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Hi. Um, what's your favorite country? My favorite country, I think, is probably, uh, it's probably Namibia. Yeah. My favorite what? Have you, have you got a YouTube channel? No, there's some of the, the videos I showed, you can see those on YouTube. Oh, okay, but okay. I don't, I don't put stuff up on there, no, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you like to be in Portugal? Do I, li do I like... Do you like to be in Portugal? Yeah, Portugal's brilliant. Fantastic. Round of applause, Portugal. Well done. Yeah, fantastic. It's a great place to be. Masco. Yeah. What's the name of the area at your work? The name of the place where I work for myself. Uh, so I don't work at a sort of particular place. So I work for myself, yeah? Good question. What's your, what's your favorite country you've ever 
ever been in? Um, well, I sat Namibia, probably. Namibia, um, that place in Africa there, yeah? But then all the countries I've been to have their own thing, yeah? You know, Peru's amazing, Borneo. They're all, they're all amazing places. Juice. My favorite? Drink or juice? Drink. Uh, chocolate milkshake. Batido. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mas when, uh, when do you splurge it? You don't scary. Do I what? When do you splurge it? You don't scary. Do I get scared? No, no. Um, do I get scared? No, not really. No, not, not by the thing where the places that I go to. No, no. <clears throat> what advice can you give to young scientists? What advice? Yeah. Um, my advice would be to try and find the thing you're most interested in. Because if you're really interested in the subject, then it's never difficult to want to learn more about it. So it's trying to find the thing you're most interested in. Yeah? Or you're fascinated by. Yeah? Good question. Yeah? What's your favorite actor? My favorite actor? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When is your birthday? My birthday? Yeah. Uh, two days ago. Yay! 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 22 years old. Yeah. You have a pet. Do I have any pets? Yeah, loads. Uh, fish, chickens, a cat, a spider, and probably some other, and a rabbit, a rabbit. Yeah, lots, yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur? Yes. Uh, probably uh, the one out there, you know, Dinonychus? The one that's a model out there, yeah, probably that one, yeah. Uh. How do you balance your personal life in your work and research? Uh, I don't really, because a lot of the things that I enjoy doing uh, are my work, I suppose, really. Yeah. I have two questions. I have two questions. Yeah, go. Yeah. Have you already been on National Geographic? Uh, some of my clips, maybe, uh, I think, and on the Smithsonian, yeah. And the other question is... Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> <clears throat> I think we've nearly exhausted the questions. Oh, what have I got to do? Sign it? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What, what was the animal that you most like to be with, with and the most dangerous one? Um, the most dangerous one is, um, I think, called a wandering spider from South America. The most dangerous because the venom is really potent. Um, and the ones I like the most are, well, in terms of being with, um, I think birds actually, like, you know, like, you've seen like eagles and things, the big birds in their habitat. Yeah? Two, two, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go on, yeah, go. Do you have any science book or movie that, that's your favorite? Science books? No, what's your favorite book about science? My favorite book about science is probably uh, The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, go, yeah, 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 yeah. What is your favorite ocean? My favorite? Ocean. 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 Oh, um, the Indian Ocean, Indian Ocean. Yeah. Three. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, yeah, go on, yeah, go. He's run out of questions. <laughs> what yeah. is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby? Looking for insects. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, um, um, playing tennis, playing tennis as well. Tennis. Tennis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you take a picture with me? A picture? Yeah. Yeah, 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 cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, no, no, that's not ruining your cap. No, no, yeah, yeah. Hi, hi. hi. Wait, 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 yeah. Is it possible to see your work in any, uh, any channel, a uh, TV channel? Um, yeah, some of the stuff I've done for the BBC uh, and the Smithsonian, Smithsonian in America. Yeah, so you can see a few clips online of different things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank Thank you. You. Hold that a second. I'll come back and do that in a minute. Who's is that? Yeah. Yeah, in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. Yeah. If you okay. couldn't study in sets, what would you study? So can you? Yeah. If you couldn't study insects, what would you study? Probably fish. Okay. <laughs> Probably. No, uh, spiders, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you have kids? Do I have kids? Yeah, one daughter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in a minute, in a minute. Yeah. You like football? Do I like football? Yes. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, in a minute, in a minute. Yeah. What's the animal you most hate? Uh, oh, uh, slugs. Slugs, I don't know what it is it's in Portuguese. Slugs, yeah, slug. Yeah, go. Uh, what is your football club? My football club? Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Aston Villa. Right, chaps, we're nearly finished. We're nearly finished, we're nearly finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, have you... <laughs> have you ever tried eating insects? Yes. Do you like it? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Where we can buy your book? What's that? Where we can buy your book? Your book. So, so. Where you can, we can buy your book? Oh, um, on Amazon, but don't buy it from Amazon because Amazon's bad. You can buy it online in lots of places, lots of bookshops. Um, <coughs> okay, well, I, can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah. Do you know any word in Portuguese? Say that again, sorry. Do you know any word in Portuguese? Uh, obrigado. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a few other, bom dia. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and a few other things, not very many. Yeah. yeah, 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 in a minute, in a minute. Yeah, yeah. I have two questions. Two questions. Do you prefer Ronaldo or Messi? <laughs> Messi! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, shh, What is your favorite man? What? No, first I'm going to ask that the audience calms down, okay? That we can listen to each other. Calm down, shh. Questions. Yeah. What is your favorite man? My favorite? Man. Yes. Month. Favorite man? No, month. January, oh, February, uh, March. October. <laughs> no, no, I can't, I can't. Yeah, yeah okay. All right, two more questions, because you've got to go to other places. Oh, what, one as well. What's your favorite science team? My favorite? Science. Scientist. My favorite scientist, good question. Um, no, Michael Faraday. Have you heard of Michael Faraday? Yeah? Have a look online when you get home. He's an amazing man. He's dead, he's been dead a long time, but he was amazing. Yeah. Uh, in a minute, in a minute, yeah. 
How many countries have you been to? Oh, probably about 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think more. <laughs> I forget, I forget. Okay, it's the last question. Last question. Good thinking. Think good. What do you really would like to ask, okay? It's got to be a good last question. Last chance. Ross Park. What's your favorite food? My favorite food? Uh, probably curry. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming along today. Give yourself a big round of applause. Well, they're good. And thank you for the, uh, thank you for the good questions. Thank you very much. Cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oeiras. 46 km quadrados de ideias e emoções com que damos forma ao futuro. Oeiras 27.